friends. This is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. So glad you're here. I have a very special video for you today. If you've been with me for a little while, you know that I have been working on my little dining room for a while, gathering all the pieces that I feel are going to make this space cozy and comfortable. And the last thing I was looking for was, was greenery, adding plants. It's a very dark space, so I knew I really couldn't put natural plants in here. So I began my search for faux plants. And I found some wonderful plants from Bindle and Brass at Home Depot. So let me show you what I found while I was shopping. They have quite an assortment of taller plants, but you didn't want something too overwhelming. And uh, nice large foliage plants, ceramic pots, but I really wanted to go with a basket. And they have all sorts of different sizes of floor plants, tabletop plants. And um, so I, I picked up quite a few that I can switch out during the seasons. And I'll show you here in a little bit how I plan to do that. But there was a really great selection and the prices were really reasonable, I thought. So let's go over what I got for the dining room. Now you'll probably notice first off this beautiful tablecloth. It looks vintage, but it actually isn't. I got this off of Amazon. It has a beautiful lace trim and it's a polyester material that's easy to wash. I wanted something simple and inexpensive. It was only $13, it was perfect. Now the first item I'm gonna show you from Bindle and Brass is this cute little four inch pot that's ceramic and wood at the bottom and has this fuzzy little plant in it. I believe it's some type of peperonia. I put it in this bird cage that I've had for oh probably about three years now. I got that at Hobby Lobby and I use it throughout the year. I put different things in it. Christmas time, a little bottle brush tree springtime a little duck and I thought that this little um, pot would fit perfectly in there and which it did so I just love the way that it looks now here is a different look on the table I also picked up this six inch ceramic lavender pot I love lavender as a plant and this just looks so wonderful on here this would be perfect for spring I can switch it out and put it out for spring along with the new teacup and I think it adds just a completely different look to the table now one area that I knew was going to be a little bit difficult to um, find something for was this corner I first got this stool here off of Amazon. It was actually a pear, and I painted this one um, with some chalk paint and roughed it up a little bit so it would match the rest of the furniture. And then I found this fiddle leaf fig tree from Bindle and Brass, and I had that 
basket that I was looking for. It was the right size. It wasn't too overwhelming because I didn't want the gallery wall right next to it, all the pictures, I didn't want them to be covered up or my have to move any of the pictures. So this was the perfect size. The stool lifted up the plant from the floor so you can get a better look at it. The arms on it are wires so you can move them around. You can adjust them and plump them up. It does have moss at the bottom so it gives it a nice full look. It's just really well made basket and plant. It has very realistic, I believe, veining on the leaves and the look of it is just wonderful. I thought it was really great for the price of just uh, $70. Now inside of the cabinet, I have this adorable little boxwood topiary in a little ceramic pot. It's about four inches. This can be placed on the table easily, but it was the perfect size to put inside the cabinet and add a pop of greenery in there. This little bird that's on it, I got at Hobby Lobby. I've had it for years and the top of the pot has some moss on it so it has a nice full and complete look but I thought it was just so cute to put inside here and just something a little different with a little bird on it it's just something really cute and, and adorable Now on top of the cabinet, I move some things around, some baskets and all of the pictures, I move them around and I have this six inch ceramic pot with a golden pothos in it. It adds the perfect color, the perfect pop of greenery up there. It's just a tad trailing just over the rim of the pot, but it's just enough. I have it sitting on a little basket, so it almost looks like it's part of the pot, but it lifts it up um, because there is a little indentation at the top there and I didn't want it sitting too far down. So it lifts it up and just gives it the height that it needs. It's, I think it's the perfect size for this area. I am so happy with how this area turned out from the furniture that I got at Merchant Square, from all of the thrifted frames and artwork that I have on my gallery wall, and now the plants that I've completed it from Bindle and Brass. Thank you so much, Bindle and Brass, for sponsoring today's video. Friends, they are available at all Home Depots. They do have an online availability of some of their home decor and dried goods. I'll show you a little bit here from the Home Depot online store that you can get that. So, um, but currently the faux plants are not on there yet. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of my completed dining room. The next room I'm going to be working on is the living room. And I want to know what you guys think of a blue velvet sofa. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to work. <laughs> so I'll see you next time, friends. Have a blessed day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.